Exodus chapter 40, so if you'd like, you can turn to your Bible, we can get reading. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, On the first day of the first, first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony, and bring the ark with the veil, and thou shalt bring in the table, and set it in order, the th and set in order the, th the things that are to be set in order upon it. And thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and light the lamps thereof. And thou shalt set the altar of, go of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony, and put the hangings of the door to the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and, th and shalt put water therein. Okay. What will happen on the first day of the first month? They will set up on the tabernacle. Uh -huh. <coughs> Verse 8. And thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hanging of the court gate. And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein. And shalt hollow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint the altar of the burnt offering, and of his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most holy, and thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot, and sanctify it. And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. Mom's a teacher. Yeah. Boom, girl. Yeah, you got that. Huh. <laughs> okay. Who's good? Who's going to go to the door of the tabernacle? Aaron and his sons. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments, and, uh, and anoint him, and sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt bring his sons and his clothes, them with coats. And thou shalt anoint them as, they, as thou didst anoint their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, for their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generation <clears throat> throughout their generations thus did Moses according to all that the Lord commanded him so did he uh -huh, you're getting good at this you're getting good at this who's going to put on the holy garment and mm -hmm. verse 17 and it came to pass in the first month in the second year on the first day of the month that the tabernacle was reared up, and Moses reared up the tabernacle, and fastened his sockets, and set up the boards thereof, and put in the bars thereof, and reared up his pillars. And he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent above it, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put, and he took and put the testimony into the ark, and set the staves of the ark, and put the mercy seat above the ark. 21. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the table and the tent of the congregation upon the side of the tabernacle northward without the veil, and he set the bread and order upon it before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. What did Moses rear up? The tabernacle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Verse 24. And he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. And he lightened the lamps before the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. And he burnt sweet incense thereon as the Lord commanded Moses. And he set up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of congregation and offered upon it the burnt offering. And and the meat of uh, and the meat offering, as the Lord commanded Moses, and he set the laver between the tent of the congregation, and the altar, and and the altar, and put water therein to wash withal. And Moses and Aaron, and his sons washed their hands and their feet there thereat, when they went into the tent of the congregation, 
And when they came near unto the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses, as he reared up the court round about the, ter the round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. Pretty hot. What did Moses put in the tent? The candlestick. Mm -hmm. Th verse 34. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation, because the cloud abode there thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the journey of the journey of Israel went onward in all went on yeah, went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken that it was taken up for the cloud of the lord was upon the tabernacle by tabernacle by day and fire was on it by night in the sight of all the house of israel throughout all their journeys what did this section of the bible just talk about the glory of the lord mm -hmm. and that is the end so in summary this chapter just talked about uh, the, the tabernacle and how Moses reared it up, which I'm not sure what that means. And it also told you that Aaron and his son, or no, Aaron put on the holy garments, and then Moses gave Aaron and his son something to wash themselves with. And that's it. Now time for the business and prayer request. Uh, this first one is for Terrence, prayers for his cousin and everyone to make it for Thanksgiving. And this one's from Terrence, praises that his cousin made it. This one is for love, prayers for healing for her daughter. This one is for Priscilla, prayers for her husband to get right with God. This one is for Ivy, prayers for cousin's cancer and salvation. This one is for Glenda, prayers for her sons to find God. This one is for Nicole, prayers for a godly husband. This one is for Rihanna, prayers for a job and salvation for her husband. And this final one is for Kelly, prayers for grandson waiting on a heart transplant. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to wake up another day so that we can live and serve you. Thank you for these praises and prayer requests from Terrence, Love, Priscilla, Ivy, Glenda, Nicole, Rihanna, and Kelly. If I pronounce any of these names wrong, you know who I'm talking about. I pray that if it be your will, you help these people at whatever they would need help with. And also, if there was any of these people that don't know you as a Lord and Savior, I pray they get that settled before it is eternally too late. And I pray that you send forth ways of travel. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you liked our video, you can support us by tapping the like button. And also, if you'd like to follow us on our journey as we read the Bible, you can subscribe and use the button to get a little notification every, every time we upload. You can press the little bell that's right next to it. If you have any praises or prayer requests, you can leave those in the comments below. There will also be an email in the description if you can't comment for whatever reason. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I pray that you have a blessed day. Goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm.